thank you to the choir and the band for their selection. To our esteemed guests, faculty and staff, family and friends, thank you for joining us today in this historic moment. To my brothers, congratulations for making it thus far. Reverend Ronald Luther King Jr. once said, faith is taking the first step when you, even when you don't see the whole staircase. By enrolling in Bama, we all took a blind step out on faith. After forceful parents made us apply to Bama, multiple, <laughs> multiple years of hearing the same habits of mind in slightly different ways, and hearing almost every quote we'll ever need in life from Mr. Douglas. Here we are today, soon to be graduates of the first graduating class of the Barack Obama Male Leadership Academy. When my parents first encouraged me to plot a bomb, like most of my brothers, I did not see myself or hope for myself to go there. Of course, the lack of girls was a factor that pushed me away from bomb. But the newness of the school and the uncertainty of what life as a student will be like was most alarming. We all had a reluctant willingness when we first came to bomb, but we also had the courage to endure to this point. We sacrificed a lot to be here today. We sacrificed the traditional for the untraditional. We could have easily excelled at other schools other than Bama. We sacrificed the comfort that comes from established schools with traditions and events. And of course, the social sacrifice, trying to explain the concept of an all-male school, and also explaining that there is indeed not a Michelle Obama school. <laughs> Along the way, we accomplished many other firsts, such as being the first to take and survive AP and dual credit courses, being members of the first robotics, journalism, debate, and other programs. Being the first to have a reputation for satirizing Mr. Douglas's mannerisms. <laughs> and being the first class to be accepted to over 50 colleges in the university and earning over $1.3 million in scholarships. <laughs> to achieve the first that we have, and the first that we'll achieve in the future, it, takes, it will take a, a strong will and courage to move forward in the face of uncertainty. This is not a journey that could have been made by the faint-hearted. Being first comes with an immense amount of pressure and expectations. We establish the precedence for future classes to follow. Our struggle and frustration and discomfort and sacrifice were all necessary so that future classes might have more delightful experiences at Bonham. The path of being first is not one everyone can take or stay on, so congratulations to us 12. We have accomplished <laughs> We have accomplished great things as a class and persevered through the face of uncertainty. However, we have not made it. We must continue with the same tenacity that we had when we started our journey here. Steve Jobs once said, stay hungry, stay foolish. He was urging individuals to want more, to not be content with one's current standing, continuously strive for better and be better. The journey being the first graduating class is not an easy one, and was not one ventured on alone. There are many individuals and entities who are instrumental in this journey. To our parents and family members, thank you for being those strong willed individuals who made us apply to Bama. Thank you for being a listening ear when we would often complain about Bama, yet being adamant that we remain. Thank you for putting up with us, encouraging us, and nurturing us to be the young men who we are today. To our teachers, thank you for being the root of most of our troubles on this journey. <laughs> for pushing us out of our comfort zone, only to make us better. Thank you for not only being phenomenal teachers, but phenomenal people as well, whom we got to know outside of the classroom. To our counselors, principals, and administrators, thank you for your steadfast support of our class. Thank you for your unwavering business for the campus and our class, although we did not always recognize or appreciate them at the time. Thank you for creating the culture of the campus that we have so that we might thrive. I will be remiss if I did not thank my brothers. Thank you for accepting me when I came here as a sophomore. All the way to Fort Chabon before I got here, you welcomed me into the family as if I've been here day one. Thank you for the rewarding opportunity to grow with you on this journey and for creating memories the memories that we experienced together. And again, to my brothers, congratulations. Thank you.
Dr. Lou Blackburn was elected to Dallas ISD Board of Trustees in June 2001. He has provided leadership in several positions while on the board. Dr. Blackburn was born in Fort Worth, where he, where he attended elementary school. After moving to Dallas, he attended Oliver Wendell Holmes Middle School and graduated from Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt High School. He earned a bachelor's degree in music education and master's in educational administration from Texas A&M Commerce and a doctor of philosophy from the University of Texas at Austin. A career educator, Dr. Blackburn joined the DIS, Dallas ISD in 1986 as an instrumental music teacher before serving as an assistant principal in the West Dallas area. Following a career move to Texas Education Agency, he served as a principal in Goodrich, Texas and Duncanville, Texas. He also has served in a, as an adjunct professor at educational administration at various colleges and universities in North Texas area. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Luke Blackburn. <laughs> 